Hi, Vincent Hall, and welcome to another episode of our Vincent Hall Art Center Featured Artist Series. This week, we're featuring Charlie Mertz. Mr. Mertz has been a member of our photography class since its inception in 2015. He was actually one of the first people to join us down in the old art room in the basement where George now has his beautiful new facility for physical fitness. So Charlie took a chance even before we had computers or anything we could use technology wise to do editing and I'm so glad he did because he's been a faithful member of our photography class ever since and has produced award-winning images. In this video, you'll get a chance to see Charlie, hear his work, about his work, and um, get a chance to understand a little more about how every individual in the art center finds their own muse. Without further ado, Mr. Charles Mertz. Thank you, Charlie, for being our featured artist this week. I know everybody will be looking forward to seeing your photos, which we're going to try something new this time and share the screen while you talk about your photography. But I thought we could start with a little bit of your history as a photographer. What got you interested in photography? Well, I'll tell you, there's, uh, there's nothing like a growing family of kids to uh, <laughs> start you on a photo career. And basically, that's what uh, what brought me into it. Uh, I found out that it was fun, really taking pictures. Oh, okay. And there was there was more to it than just taking family pictures. So. Uh, so. I can't explain it. Oh, okay. So you started with the birth of your first child. Mostly, you became the the heir apparent to the family camera, I guess. Or exactly, oh, exactly. God. What were some of your favorite pictures of your kids growing up? Just what kind of activities or things? Well, one of them uh, played uh, high school football and uh, baseball, and I've got a few pictures there. Oh, okay. Um. Otherwise, there was there's nothing that particularly stands out in my mind for for that. Just all the events and things, I guess, the family stuff. Yeah. Well, sports photography is interesting, so I bet that was fun to take pictures of the events for their games. Oh, yes. Oh, it's fun. I also noticed, and I know the viewers for our interview will see your um, travel photography is really amazing. It's beautiful. It's varied. When did you, have you and Jean always been travelers or when did you start? Well, I started traveling when, when the Navy ordered me oh. from, <laughs> from the East Coast to the West okay. Coast. <laughs> that makes sense. And, uh, and that, uh, that really started it. Uh, I felt that, uh, you know, there were so many, so many nice places that we were going through that I had to record some of that because it, uh, Nobody would believe me if, if I told them some of the things about uh, some of the places we went to. So uh, I, I had to have a record to show it. It was um, after, uh, after I left the Navy, after I retired, mm -hmm. uh, we did a lot of traveling on our own. Oh. And uh, that was uh, some of the most interesting photography. And, and basically the ones that uh, that we'll see if you whatever you show. Okay, yeah, I'll be showing some here shortly about that. When you travel, uh, did you have special camera equipment or what did you use to take your pictures? Well, of course, that was before the days of uh, uh, cameras on your telephone. Right. <laughs> that was not available at all. I, I had a camera that I had used for a long time and it, it, it suited me just fine. And so that, that's basically the one I use. Later on, I uh, ended up with a, uh, basically two cameras. One, one was a, an old, small uh, Nikon. Hmm. And the other one was a, was a fairly newer, fairly new uh, Canon. Oh, okay. They, they, each one had a, had a different, advantage and disadvantage. So I used both of them intermittently. <laughs> you realize you're a rare bird to be in the Canon and Nikon club. Usually people. Yeah, I, I realize that. 
well, that's good. <laughs> At least you gave them both equal opportunities. So that's a, for the brand. That's good. When you were, I wanted to get back before we show your travel photos, just something you had mentioned about um, people not really believing what they, you were seeing in all of your travels. Were they more um, just the, the beauty of the geography of where you were or the, the city? Like what type of things did you want to record? Well, I think the, uh, the one thing, of course, that always stands out is, is the fog in San Francisco and how cold it is in, in, <laughs> on the 4th of July. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and other things of that sort. Uh, the, the, uh, the de some of the desert pictures with the, uh, the, the, the different things in the desert that, that oh, show. Okay. So they were, they, were, they were the most important things. Oh, okay. Did you, any of your children ever follow through? Have they taken up the mantle of their family's photographer? Uh, yes, on and off. They, oh, okay. they have, they have, they're all still working, so it, it, uh, it doesn't give them a, the opportunity to do a lot of it. But um, my older son, Chuck, uh, has a big Nikon with interchangeable lenses that he let me borrow for a while. Oh, wow. I found out that it was not really the sort of camera that I'd like to use because it was too heavy. Oh. It's too heavy to carry around. I, I never had it available when I wanted it. Hmm. It was fine for a uh, portrait uh, type of photography, but I went back to the two old ones and they're, they're still doing well. Yeah, if it works for you, I don't blame you. And some of the equipment like you're talking about your son has is extremely heavy. I don't know if non-photographers realize how tiring it can be to lug all that equipment around for a day. So I know you've yeah, that's for sure. experienced it. Well, I thought we could look at some of your photos and maybe you could tell us what they are and where you were taking them and what made them special to you. So I, for all of you watching, we're going to go to screen share here for a minute uh, so we can see Charlie's images. And there you go. So we'll start with this one. This was in uh, New Zealand, the coastline in New Zealand. Wow. New Zealand is a particularly nice place to go. It's a great place to visit. It's, that but is beautiful. Not only seashore like this, but uh, mountains as well. Mm. Were you up on top of a cliff, it looks like, for this picture? It is. Uh, this was, uh, <clears throat> we had been driving along the road to, to see various things. And uh, as we came up around the turn, this, this was right ahead of us. And it was just something I just had to get out and take a picture of. Mm. I love the lighting on the waves, too. That's just beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's a pretty place. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. This was in the Caribbean. Oh. We were on a cruise ship that was uh, moving around in the Caribbean from one place to another. And uh, this little sailboat with, with the most raggedy sail I have ever seen in my life was, uh, was out there. And, I, and uh, hmm. it was... Uh, an interesting picture to me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this this could win awards in travel photography. It's just beautiful. And yet that sail worked. So <laughs> it certainly did. You you can see from the from the trail he was leaving that they were moving. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. This was in Hawaii on the uh, north shore of uh, Hawaii. Hmm. People don't get up there very much. They mostly stay in the south in the south of uh, Oahu. And that's the, pretty. We were there for a wedding, and uh, that that brought us up to the North Shore. And and I thought this was a, a really nice uh, a nice area. Oh, it looks beautiful, and I like just how the palm trees frame the image of the people relaxing in the sun. It's really nice. Okay, and then 
total opposite from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's quite different from Hawaii. <laughs> this this is up in Alaska, and uh, in an area where uh, the uh, ice flows down like this, and it uh, it's it, it's it's interesting. Uh, were you on a cruise ship for this one? Yes, that that was a cruise to Ala uh, Alaska. Mm. I like how close up this is, though, and the detail in that ice. That's. As I remember, I had to get up early to get this picture. Oh, okay. Like, we, we were we were cruising through there, and it wasn't going to be around forever. So, oh. I, uh, one of the, one of the early days for me. Oh well, I'm glad that you got up to do it. I love this picture. It's really, it's almost an abstract, but you can tell it's ice, but it's just a really nice composition. Oh, and I've always loved this one. This is uh, a trip that we took down to, to the south. Mm. And this was right along the uh, Mississippi. Uh, the, a, a, an old plantation that had a landing right on the Mississippi. And uh, these trees just fascinated me. And that's, oh. that's the manor house, of course, in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, those trees are amazing, especially that moss. It just... Yeah, it's... It's, it, it's, it's uh, it, it really is different. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aw. <laughs> this was in Texas. We had uh, friends that used to go down to uh, Texas... Uh, and uh, stay there for the for the winter and they invited us down one time and we uh they, they took us around and showed us to a lot of places we also saw some of the whooping cranes that uh were very scarce in, in my younger days oh not a whooping crane it's it's just uh just just one of them out looking for lunch that's all oh <laughs> It's pretty as a photo with the reflection of the bird too. But it was, it's nice because I wouldn't, I would see this and I wouldn't immediately think Texas. So I like, that's nice to think it's not your stereotypical Texan type picture or whatever it might be. I don't know what that would be, but uh -huh. I like this. This could be, uh, it could be Florida even. It's, I like it. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then this is more local, but. This was uh, recently. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went down to, to uh, take a trip to the, in Richmond, to the Virginia uh, Art Society. Oh, okay. Art Museum. Mm -hmm. These uh, uh, soldiers in, in, a, in a very dark area with, uh, with just the lighting just on the individuals, individual people. And they had about seven different ones, as I remember. And I, I thought it was a really, really an interesting shot to, uh, to get this. Oh, absolutely. It did require a little Photoshopping, by the way. That's okay. That's they, what it's there for. To get some of the lighting out of it. Oh yeah, when it's something against a dark background like that with a spotlight, that can be a challenge, but you did it really well. And this one, oh. Now this photo, I believe won some awards. Yes, it, it's, been in, it, it's been in one, of, one or two of the shows and, uh, and uh, I, I don't think it took a first place. This was when we were on a uh, river cruise over in Portugal. Mm. They they took us around to show us the, the, the different areas and and this uh, was not only this was the front of the house the back of the house had a real beautiful garden and uh, it was a, a a great place to mm. take pictures. The reflection's beautiful too. Then we've got this one. That one is in. Um, Bermuda. Oh, okay. And uh, the ship was tied up right alongside of the, the, a cruise out there, of course, another cruise. Okay. And uh, the ship was tied up right next to the town like this. And uh, I, I was fascinated by the, the uh, British flag and all the rest of it. 
Oh yeah, and the colors of the buildings too. That's nice. And, and the, the the lighting was uh, was I thought very nice on this. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that's true. Even your whites have sh like for photographers. For those of you watching, it is difficult to photograph things that are very light or white and still see detail, but you can see it in this. So I th another success. I like this. Okay. That was one of our, uh, one of the places we went, Green Springs Gardens. All oh, right, one of our field trips. One of our field trips, that's right. And uh, that was just recently. That's right. Yeah, that was just, a, I guess, a year or two ago, maybe two years ago, I guess. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's true. So that's Fairfax County, so that's very local. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hmm. This was in Baltimore. This hmm. is the... Uh, the basement of the Baltimore Basilica. Oh. Okay, wow. And, uh, I, I was fascinated when down in, down in the basement, they have this place set up. And I was really fascinated by the, the, the many curves that showed up in this picture. There uh, are, yes. It was... Uh, it was different. It was something that, uh, that I, I haven't run across before. No, it is. It's a very unique photo, too. And it draws your eye right in. OK. And then this one? This was uh, on one of our trips to the south that we took. It's Chickamauga Battlefield. Hmm. And that was, uh, I was always fascinated by the Civil War and read a lot about it. And I was interested in going to some of these places that uh, were of importance during the war. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. This was in Australia. One of the uh, places they, we took a, they took us on a trip was uh, to the Blue Mountains of Australia. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling that, that this was a lot of the area that was burned badly uh, and recently in the fires that they had. Oh, my goodness. It was a, it's a beautiful spot. And, and I was fascinated by these three separate pieces standing up by themselves. Oh, my, yeah. Those rock formations, almost yeah. impossible the way they're carved in and out like that. That's amazing. Well, and you can see the blue in the background, I guess, hence the blue mountains. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's it. Oh, beautiful. Then we have this one. This was a, on another field trip when we went to the... Oh, the botanical gardens. I remember botanical this. Botanical gardens, that's right. I remember this, yes. And this is, a, this is some of the old... I, I think that, that particular tree that we're looking at was something like 150 years old or something like that. I think you're right. I remember seeing that sign. But I like the geometry of this, just the clean shapes and everything, really. And then the tree stands out so much with that background. It does, yeah. And then the last one, I think this was the award-winning one, maybe. That's the one, yes. There you go. We finally got to it. That's the one. Yeah. That was, that was uh, one of our workshops. Yeah, we were in the, the um, photo room or in the art center part of the photo room, for those of you following along. And we had set up a backdrop because in our class, we do some still life photography and practice things as well. And I believe this was with the light just coming in the window. And Right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. It's just beautiful in the reflection of the strawberry. Gosh, thank this you. Was, it, excuse me, Mel, but oh, this, this, was, this was all part of the stuff that you brought along to let us set up as we wanted to. Oh, that's and, right. So this was your particular decision to put these items in. Yeah, right. It worked. It won awards. So it, really, it, it really worked. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. I'm proud of that one. Oh, you should be. Uh, and all of them. They are all beautiful pieces. Any final thoughts you'd like to share with everyone about your experience in the photography class or as a photographer? Well, I, I'd like to point out that, that if anybody shows, has any interest whatsoever in photography, they, they should join one of the photo classes that, that you hold down here. Because uh, 
I have learned more, I think, as far as the ins and outs of photography uh, during these couple of years that uh, I've been working with you. And, oh. I, and, I, and I really thoroughly enjoy it. Well, I enjoy having you in the class too. And I should mention, because I know we had discussed this, um, Charlie, you, I think you're the charter member of the photography class because you started with us when we were down in the basement before we even had a, an art center and before we even had a computers or anything like that to use. So I'm grateful you gave me a shot, back, literally <laughs> Photoshop. No, it's been fun. That's good. Well, yeah, and we look forward. Hopefully it'll go on for a while. Oh, yeah. It, it's if, continuing. If we ever get this uh, business over. Yeah. But if, as all of you know, the photography class meets every Tuesday and Wednesday, depending on which class it is via Zoom. And Charlie, of course, has been faithfully Zooming in. So we're still chugging along, making new images. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, well, thank you so much for being our featured artist of the week. And I know everyone will look forward to seeing these images again in the slideshow. And um, best to you and Jean. I, I look forward to seeing everyone soon in person. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks again, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie, for being our Vincent Hall featured artist of the week. We appreciate you taking the time to share your images, your inspiration, and your travel adventures with the rest of us. I know everyone will look forward to seeing those images again in the slideshow that follows. And I would also like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this series. I know the artists are working very hard despite the restrictions we have on the use of the art center and the photo lab. I look forward to showing you all of their work that they've been doing when we return to more normal conditions. In the meantime, enjoy Charlie's work that follows and we'll see you soon, Vincent Hall.